Good morning. Packing for Indo? The dogs are going to freak out. Are they? Uh oh. Where did he slip? Yeah. Penny. Hey. Hey, Pam. Come here. How many boards you bringing? I don't know. Probably not take one of these. So probably seven. So what'd you have for breakfast this morning? Danger? I had an English muffin with butter, green cheese, avocado, and tapatio sauce. Ooh. That's my staple. Yeah? Is that what you have every morning? Most mornings. Nice. I don't make French toast. Yeah. That's, that's pretty normal. I should probably eat a little healthier. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very sustainable energy. It tastes very good. What about before a flight? Before a flight? Not really. Kind of just save it for the plain food. Uh, do you like the eggs? The oh God! Eggs the yeah, what are they? I what is that? Every time oh, it freaks it makes out. Me so sick. Ugh. Every I time I, I say I'm gonna eat before a flight, so I don't eat the plane food, and then the plane food comes out and you just can't resist. <laughs> How long is the flight? The flight is what is it? Twenty hours to Singapore. Twenty hours to Singapore, and then Padang. So. All in all, it's probably 24 hours or more with the with the stopovers and everything. Huh. How long are you going to be gone for? Wait, mouth 10 days and I'll say it. 10 days! <laughs> <laughs> I get homesick, but not in the same way as lots of people that I travel with where they like freak out when you go home. Not a lot of people, but remember back in the day and doing like QSs and stuff, people would freak out and have to go home. Yeah. I don't get really homesick like that, but you definitely miss certain things about home. Do you try to keep in touch with anybody? I'm pretty bad at keeping in touch with pretty much anybody, even when I'm home. But uh, always keeping in touch with her. That's pretty much really it. Get it Text message shot. here and there with different people, but what's that? Get a shot of Crested. Get a shot of Crested. <laughs> oh, do you have a, oh, that would have been good. <laughs> this trip is for Kai Neville and the sort of a Nike trip, which is funny because um, last year at this time we did a reef trip, many. We did. I ride for Vans. But it's kind of a Nike trip, but um, I want to get some footage for Kai's movie. So, uh, they're having me alone as a guest, and it is Julian Wilson, uh, Kolohe and Dino, and Evan Geiselman, and I believe now, since Dusty Payne is still hurt, Taj is going to come too. So, it's a pretty sick trip. Yeah. Courtney and I went around the thrift stores yesterday looking for um, VHS cameras, because psyched on that look right now. So nah, I'm kinda of over some gray right now. Yeah, you go through phases or whatever, but I I brought it on my I brought some gray on my last trip and it fell out of the car and broke and I'm not really motivated to purchase another at the moment and just lost interest for the time being. Wearing the VHS look after um, I haven't been to Indo for Three years? Julian's movie? How much are the airlines going to charge you for all these boards? So you never know. It's different every time. Could be nothing or it could be a thousand bucks. Yeah, it all depends <laughs> on who you check in with. I've had times where I check in with someone I'm traveling with and they get a different agent and one of us gets a thousand dollar charge and someone and the other person gets nothing. It's pretty ridiculous. I've had... I've had... $2,500 charges. Remember we put it on a um, Quicksilver card? Oh, we put it on your card. Remember you were, or something. You were really bummed out. I was? Yeah, you were pissed. <laughs>
You see that one? Oh, that's sick. Yeah, on Sunday, I think Jack emailed me about that. Is Jack going? Uh, sure, yeah. So, how are you feeling? Um, alright. After the Monster Children camping trip, which was, shoot, almost a month ago now, my back was really messed up from too much fun. Come on, stickers. Wish they had placed themselves. <laughs> some, guy, some guys actually hire people to sticker up boards. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard that. That's like an, I've heard that in Hawaii though, where people get like a ridiculous amount of boards. You're getting like two or three in every size. And, well, I've never done that, but I don't, I don't really do the Hawaii thing the way that other dudes do it. Yeah, you always bring extra stickers just in case you break all your boards and have to borrow. Or your boards aren't working and something and you somehow come across a board that does or whatever, you always bring them some extras. Rincon looked kinda of fun. Did it? I was actually thinking yeah. about that. I was I was probably gonna try to surf out there. I almost surfed out there last night, but I was maybe gonna um try to surf out there, but then you said up here, I don't know. What do you think? I think Rincon would Really? Yeah. Should we go do that after this? Yeah, uh, Rincon's kinda of pumping. Hey, really? Yeah. Kind of pumping? Kinda. Crowded? <laughs> I didn't see anybody out. What? Not many. Uh-uh. <laughs> Should we head down there? Maybe, maybe uh. Well, Dane, last surf before Indo. And it's a, and it's a good one. Alright, Dan, you want to say goodbye? 
See you, dude. <laughs> Have a good trip. Thanks. Rip. Try. All you have to do is rip. That's what I'll do then. <laughs>